everyone, it's Cindy and I am here on vacation. I'm just trying out filming here. I don't know how the sound's going to be. I'm filming from um, my new iPad that I haven't used for videos yet. And I am just sitting outside while the kids are playing inside with the foosball table. So you might hear a bit of noise from inside the cottage. Um, but I can't do anything about that and I don't want to go down to the beach uh, quite yet because it's uh, still quite early. So anyhow, um, it's been a nice morning. We've had a murder of crows hanging out in the pine tree. We've seen plovers in the water and a little baby squirrel keeps running past me on the deck here. If, if he comes back, I'll try to get him. He's so cute. So anyways, what I'm up to this morning is an experiment. Um, and I'm using an ornate bolete here. Now, see, you can already see some yellow printing on this paper. So mushrooms, you can do what they call spore printing with mushrooms. Um, they, they will leave markings behind. You can seal them with things like hairspray or spray sealant, and you will be able to keep those spores on the paper. But I'm doing something slightly more industrial today. I've done a lot of spore printing in my days, just trying to identify mushrooms. So as you'll see, with a bolete, and this one shows it very well, the bottom of a bolete has these little pores. And so I was thinking about trying to print those pores because they're really beautiful. So I just have here some brown and gray, re really inexpensive kind of crafter's paint. And I was going to try to just spread it on the bottom of the mushroom here to see if I can get like an actual paint print. So I'm just going to, um, try to snap the bottom off here without destroying too much of the pore. There we go. And I'll just shake my paper off so we get all the mushroomy bits off. And I'm just going to try to recenter this a little bit so that you can see okay. <clears throat> all right, let's start with just this bit of gray um, and see if this works. I'm just gonna apply the paint on my finger and then I'm going to just try to spread it thinly over maybe by tapping it on the bowlie and maybe by rubbing a bit. I have no idea if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a try because why not? I probably should have brought a palette outside to just put the paint down on, but you know. Now this mushroom may just absorb all this paint and I may not be able to get a print. I'm going to put some directly on and see if I can just get it a little thicker because yeah, it feels very absorbing at the moment. Yeah, it's really absorbing. Let's see if this does anything at all. I'll put it right here. And then I'll just give it a little press. Okay. Let's try again with less paint. Just going to keep making marks and see how they change as we have less and less paint in the mushroom. Grab a new piece of paper here. I can hear squirrels chattering at me. We're getting a lot of prints, but I wouldn't say they're like very high quality. But this is why you experiment, right? So we have now experimented with a bolete, and I like the ones that have less paint more. <clears throat> so here's what they look like. Now I do think that I can use them, definitely. Um, I think that I can probably do something fun with this paper, even though, you know, the prints aren't perfect. I'm gonna try putting a little brown paint on. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, these are actually, this paint is much better. So, you know what I think is it's a more higher flow paint. Let's give it a more. I'm gonna try to just spread it around thinly. Wait, my finger on this excess sheet here. And doing experiments like this, it's exactly how you can learn the right way to kind of do these types of things, right? You experiment this way, and then you can see, can I make paint prints with mushrooms? There's definitely a squirrel somewhere near me. So if anything strange happens, <laughs> be warned. Now the one thing to to know about bolites is they do attract worms. So probably if you grab a bolete to try to print with, it will have worms in it. Little tiny worms, white ones. They're harmless, um, but they do they do attract bugs, <clears throat> larva. They do um, deposit their larva in bolites. I am not so uh, sensitive to those kind of things, though. They don't really bother me. Okay, let's peel this mushroom off my hand, which has now been stained yellow. <laughs> Um, and the other thing is about the disposal of the mushrooms. So here, see, we're getting some nice prints now with that mushroom, um, that bolete that you just put the, I would say a thinner, a more watery paint on. Um, yeah. Okay, so disposal of the mushroom when you're done. That's a really important thing. Because you've put paint, you know, acrylic paint, which is a plastic, into the mushroom, don't leave it outside where an animal could pick it up because, you know, you're kind of poisoning them, right? Well, not poisoning. I doubt it would hurt them or kill them, but it's not healthy for them to ingest um, plastic. I don't know how um, using... A watercolor would work but I don't think very well hard to say I sort of feel like you need the durability of like an acrylic paint so I think these more subtle ones that I'm making right now are actually going to end up being my favorite see the subtlety of that but you really get the details Okay, so that is printing with a bow leech. <laughs> so this is what I will get rid of, um, this whole mushroom. I will put it in the trash because I have put paint into it. So I hope you have a fun day and you liked watching this little short printing experiment. I'll give you a little look at what I'm looking at. So this is the beach. That's the rest of the deck. I'm sitting at a table here. And then we have the upstairs to the deck. Um, this area here, if you can see that, that platform right here, that's where I do all of my eco printing because it's a large platform that I am able to lay my fabric down on. And um, it's the perfect kind of table for printing on. So that's it for me for now. I hope you have a great day. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.